Hi Morten and welcome to the show. Hi Jonas, thanks for having me here again. It's great to see you again Morten. <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> Uh, Morten, yesterday I was on LinkedIn and I saw a post uh, from Easy Entra on on LDAP queries. Is that something you can uh, show me? Yeah, sure. That's our brand new feature. Uh, LDAP queries traditionally can be a little bit uh, difficult to work with and and therefore the adoption rate is really not that big. But it's extremely powerful and once you get the hang of it, it's uh, quite easy to use. Uh, and yeah, so we've tried to uh, bring that to more people in the latest version. Let me just uh, fire it up and I'll show you. Great. All right, Jonas, I'm here on my Windows 11 PC. I've installed these Entra, as you can see. And in the search field here, you can do regular user searches. So if you want to find any particular use, you just start typing and you get the search results immediately. The latest feature we have available is that you can also enter an LDAP query. And LDAP queries are um, nested inside a parenthesis. So for example, if you want to find uh, users from a particular state, you can search for the ST equals uh, Idaho, for example. So uh, one problem here with the standard LDAP queries is that, that uh, the state attribute is stored in an, in an attribute called ST. And uh, that could be also street, or it's quite difficult to, to remember that stuff. So to make it easier for people to start working with this, we've actually uh, done it so that you can uh, also write state, and Easy Enter will automatically translate that to ST, which is the proper attribute name. So in the search result here, immediately you have uh, all the users for which the uh, address information, if you go to the state, you have users in Idaho. If you want to narrow down your search, then with LDAP queries, you have the ability to do a an AND quite easily. So I am going to AND these two expressions here. I'm going to add another uh, expression and I'm going to type in uh, head of sales, for example. So this query gives me any user that has state configured to Idaho and has title configured to head of sales. And if we go and have a look at the organizational information, we can see that's exactly what's going on here. If you want to find another head of marketing instead, you, you just type it in. And the thing with the LDAP queries is that it supports uh, these uh, asterisks, so you can uh, do a, a wildcard search very easily. So in this case, we have uh, the head of uh, marketing and we have the head of sales here and uh, in, in easy entry you can actually do multi-editing of the search results that's not something that you can do with AD users and computers but we have uh, implemented that so if you want to configure another manager for all of your head of something employees you can simply go and do that very easily so this is uh, just to illustrate how easily and fast you can you can uh, use these uh, LDAP queries. Oh, that was fast. Very nice. So, so let me ask you, how about uh, disabled users? If they want to see uh, a list of, of, of users uh, that are disabled in my environment, is that can I do that very right, fast here? Yeah. Right. You can do that uh, fast if, as you know, probably if you tried it, to do it with the standard LDAP queries, it's a little bit complex because the disabled uh, attribute is actually stored in the second bit of the user account control attribute. And to do bit ser searches in uh, LDAP, you need uh, an OID, which is a little bit uh, annoying uh, format. So I have an example here. Traditionally, if you want to find disabled users, this would be the query to use. And uh, basically, mm -hmm. nobody can remember uh, these <laughs> that, numbers. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, it makes it a little little uh, bit difficult to use. So instead of doing that, we have actually just made it possible to search for disabled equals true because that's a little bit more easy to remember, and that uh, gives your first level help desk the ability to easily search out disabled user accounts. Ah, very nice, very good. But let's say I wanted a list of, of users that uh, that are inactive, that hasn't been logged on to the system since, you know, the last three months or something like that. Right. Can That's, you do that? You can do that. Again, using the standard tools, it's a little bit difficult because the, uh, the, the date format 
uh, you need to search for the last logon timestamp attribute. It's uh, the date format. It's stored as a file time, uh, uh, which is a long uh, data attribute, quite complex, and you need to translate the date that you want to search for to this number. So this is uh, searching out users uh, that were didn't log on uh, after the first of May. Again, it, it makes it very difficult to use it for first level supporters. It makes it completely useless. Another thing is that you need to be aware of that in LDAP queries, you cannot search for uh, greater than or less than. You always need to pair it uh, with the equal sign. That's also a little bit different, difficult to, to remember. So what we did here is that, uh, first of all, it doesn't make a difference if you use uh, the less than or less than equal uh, in our tool and the date format you can simply type in a human readable date here so you need to go with the year month date format here and then you can search it out also as you can see the search results are coming as you type so it's very fast to change the date and to check out uh, what search results are coming from various using various dates so again this makes it much more easy for first level guys to, to actually fulfill these requests to identify uh, disabled accounts or uh, obsolete uh, user accounts that didn't log on after a certain date. Uh, anybody can do that now. Oh, that was uh, very easy and very fast. Thanks for showing me this, Morten. Yeah, sure, no problem. I hope you like it and uh, give it out to your first level guys and let them go to work instead of uh, yeah. everything being so difficult. We will go ahead and implement that uh, today. So thank you, Morten. Thanks for, for joining me on this call. Yeah, no problem. And, and see you next time. Definitely. Bye-bye, Jonas. Thanks.